Kenya is one of the world's biggest producers of flowers, but if you buy a bunch in Nigeria, they'll probably have gone through Holland. Nigeria, meanwhile, is a huge producer of palm oil, but Kenya buys its palm oil from Malaysia. This is the problem African leaders are trying to deal with as they sign a huge free trade deal. It's all heralded in a golden age of Pan-African prosperity, right? Well, not necessarily, but it could be the start of something big. It's called the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFTA. Yeah, it's catchy, yeah? It means all countries agree to try and trade more with each other, reducing barriers like tariffs. So why are they doing it? Well, African countries don't trade with each other that much. In Europe, 70% of trade happens within the continent. In Asia, it's just over half. But in Africa, just 16% of trade is between African countries. A free trade area is designed to boost that number, creating jobs and opportunities could be an important milestone. Although it's still very far off, it leaves open the possibility of a fully integrated pan-African economy with people, goods and services able to move freely, similar to the way the European Union works. But that process took 50 years and had fewer barriers. Security problems and often poor infrastructure make trade harder. The continent's main exports are raw materials like oil and minerals, which are mostly sold to countries outside Africa, as neighbours haven't set up the industries to process them. The sheer size of Africa and number of countries makes reaching an agreement a difficult task. Just days before the signing, Nigeria decided it wasn't going to sign until it had consulted businesses and unions. Getting to this point may have taken years of negotiation, but the real work is about to begin.